What is up guys? So I was asked to do this comparison. If you're choosing between the OnePlus 7 Pro versus the Galaxy S20 FE, hopefully this will be helpful to you. All right, so let's talk about the price. So the OnePlus 7 Pro is going for around 360 right now. And you can also get the OnePlus 7T Pro, which has the A55 Plus and 5G. Uh, that's going to cost you around 400. So it's, this is still going to be the cheaper phone than this. Uh, renewed, this will cost you around 400. And then brand new, it'll cost around 600. And I'll have those links down below for you guys. So I love both of these phones. The more I've been using the S20 FE, I can see why um, it was like the smartphone of the year from MKBHD. Um, it really is an extremely solid phone for what you're getting. Uh, as you guys know, 7 Pro is still my daily driver till this day. Uh, so y'all you all know how I feel about that. Um, but let's go ahead and talk about the hardware. So the 7 Pro kind of wins in the hardware category to me still because it's a glass and metal phone. It definitely feels uh, more premium to me. Now you do have metal on the sides on the uh, FE. Um, but it's a plastic bag on here. It is a matte plastic bag and I kind of wouldn't opt in for this color. I kind of wanted the red color, but uh, this one looks fine and it kind of like has a different kind of you know look to it if it hits the light. But um, overall, yeah, definitely hard where the 7 Pro still feels uh, more expensive. Um, so 7 Pro is definitely taller and they seem about the same in thickness. You have a mute vibration switch on the 7 Pro, power button, volume rockers on the FE, power button. And then left side we have your volume rockers on the 7 Pro. Both of these phones do not have a headphone jack unfortunately. And they both have stereo speakers as well which is really nice. Alright, so when you turn both phones around, you're greeted with the two beautiful displays, honestly. But let me tell you why I'm going with the 7 Pro. You don't have a notch or punch hole like you do on the FE 2020. That's one of the main reasons I keep it around. They do this with the little pop-up camera, as you see there. And um, also, uh, the 7 Pro does have a higher resolution display. So it's a 6.67 inch display, fluid AMOLED, 90 hertz, HDR10+. 1440p 516 for the PPI. On the S20, we have a Super AMOLED 120Hz HDR10 Plus 6.5 inches 1080p 407 for the PPI. Basically, you have a higher res display on uh, the 7 Pro you know, versus the S20. And pretty much, you can notice it when you're on YouTube and you're watching videos that are like 1440p uh, capable. And also, color looks really good on both. Pretty much identical, honestly. Um, but you will have a you know curved display on the 7 Pro, which you can get accidental touches if you just use the phone by itself. I use it with a case, so I don't get those. But I do like prefer the like flat screen on the S20 FE. So for display quality, I would give it to the 7 Pro for sure here. Now there is one thing that you will notice when you're swiping and scrolling and stuff like that. Um, the 120 hertz, you will notice that it just feels super silky smooth. And honestly, if you use a phone at 144 hertz, like the Rogue Phone 3, uh, that one feels like it feels instant. So, um, yeah, so the 120 hertz versus 90 hertz, you will be able to tell the difference. And you really don't really notice it until you use applications like Instagram and stuff like that. That's when you'll notice like the smoothness with the scrolling. That's when it becomes most apparent. But as far as display quality, if you're somebody that values, you know, high quality video watching and stuff like that, I would highly recommend the 7 Pro. I think it does a excellent job still. All right, so let's talk about software. So this is actually a pretty big deal. Um, so Oxygen OS versus Samsung One UI. So they're kind of different. Uh, Samsung sort of opts in with sort of throwing a lot of features in here. And this is one of the things that you either hate it or love it. I think Samsung has done a really good job cleaning, uh, you know, One UI up. I think it works great it's very fast secure folders is on here your samsung desktop support all stuff that you would expect screen recording uh, you also have wireless power sharing on uh, this phone as well which is pretty cool so i can charge uh, like some headphones with the back of the s20 and oneplus opts for a cleaner experience on the uh, 7 pro it's kind of hard to describe it's not like stock android but um, it's definitely got this really clean fluid feeling to it which is something that a lot of OnePlus fans are uh, really love. So just how everything is organized, everything just feels super simple. You have like customizations, but it's it's not doing too little, but it's not doing too much. 
Um, so I think it finds that really good balance. Uh, One UI had a lot of stuff in it, uh, like your Samsung Edge panel. Uh, they just have a lot of stuff that's really useful. If you go into settings, you can find like a ton of settings and customizations to play with. So they're just, you know, kind of different operating systems or skins, I, I should say. Um, yeah, so it really comes down to that. If you want more stuff, more features, then you would go with the S20 FE. Um, as far as like toggles and stuff like that, it's pretty much your basic stuff. Screen recording on here. Uh, yeah, you don't really have a ton of stuff. So you, you see like the difference right off the bat. Your Zen mode and stuff like that. But honestly, you will find like more software stuff uh, on the S20 FE for sure. Uh, so let's go ahead and talk about the specs a little bit more. On the uh, OnePlus 7, you do not have... Uh, SD card support so do note that you also have 128 gigs of internal storage and 6 gigs of RAM most versions are selling the 256 and 8 gigs of RAM so that's probably the version you'll end up with and um, you have the Snapdragon 855 on here with the Adreno 640 now on the S20 FE you do have micro SD support as well so you have expandable storage on top of 128 gigs of internal storage and 6 gigs of RAM and then you have the Snapdragon 865 and Adreno 650. Basically uh, the FE is going to be the slightly you know more powerful phone here uh, so if you're into gaming they both game fine but you have an overall slightly better experience on the s20 fe especially for game, heavier games like uh, fortnite and stuff like that but as far as your daily uh you know just swiping in and out of applications they're both going to be pretty much you know the same speed here they're not going to you're not going to notice a huge difference like i said you notice the difference slightly with uh gaming if you're playing heavier games but the S20 is a little bit, gonna be a little bit faster, of course. It's got a newer processor, but they're both extremely fast. Both running Android 11 as well. So, so as far as, if you're not a gamer, you won't really notice the huge difference because they both do a good job launching applications fast and multitasking and not glitching up and being, you know, super slow. All right, both of these phones have stereo speakers, so let's go ahead and compare them and see what they sound like. Yeah, the 7 Pro bass is definitely hitting a little bit harder, but you do get a little bit more crisper sound uh, with hi-hats on the S20 FE. I think this one really comes down because they both sound about the same loudness. It's just their sound profiles are different. This is a little bit more punchier, and this focus is sort of on like mids and highs and stuff like that. So I do want to mention both of these phones have NFC for mobile payments. Now, you do have an official IP rating on the S20 FE. There is no official IP rating on the OnePlus 7 Pro, but it can get wet. It's just not an official uh, IP rating because they didn't want to pay for it. But, uh, you know, just, just believe that if you drop it in some water and it gets wet in rain, it won't break immediately. Um, so let's talk about the fingerprint sensors. Um, so both phones have face unlock, which the face unlock is going to be faster on the S20 FE because the camera has to pop up on the 7 Pro. Uh, but as far as the fingerprint sensor, um, they both feel, yeah, they both feel about the same speed, honestly. So I wouldn't say one is better than the other. They pretty much feel on par. Yeah, so I can't really I can't really tell the difference. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about the camera. So uh, just to make it short, um, if you're deciding between these two phones because of the cameras, you're going with the S20 FE 100%. Uh, it does have much better cameras uh, to me at least. Uh, so uh, on that phone, you do have a 12 megapixel lens, 8 megapixel telephoto, 12 megapixel ultra wide 4K video, 32 megapixel. A selfie with 4k video so if you want a oneplus phone with like a better camera you will go for like an 8 pro or the new oneplus 9 or something like that the cameras on the 7 pro are fine but they're just not as good as this s20 fe uh, so it's overall just a really solid camera uh, color wise uh, gives good depth of field detail uh, all is there uh, it just gives off some really good shots now as you can see the 7 pro does not take bad shots at all it takes very good shots it's got a triple camera setup 
48 megapixel standard, 8 megapixel telephoto, 16 megapixel ultra wide, 4K. You also have a 16 megapixel selfie that shoots in 1080p. I take photos with this phone all the time, and yes, I'm not like a photo person. Um, you know, I'm just like point and click, and that's it. If the photo looks decent, then you know, I don't really care. Um, but it's it's good for my needs, so you really has to come down. But if you want the best camera, uh, then the S20 definitely uh, would be better for you. All right, so the S20 FE. So it has a battery, 4,500 milliamp, 25 watt fast charging, and then you have uh, reverse wireless charging and then wireless charging. Uh, on the 7 Pro, you have a smaller 4,000 milliamp battery with faster charging at 30 watts. So I do love the 30 watt charging on the 7 Pro. Um, it does charge very fast, which is nice, but there's no wireless charging. So I would say the battery situation is overall better on the S20 FE because you have wireless charging and you have reverse wireless charging and you have a bigger battery. So you're getting better battery life as well. Uh, so that is pretty much it. So that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.